Michelle from Sound Intuition here with another episode of Sacred Self-Care Rituals. Take care of yourself so you can shine your soul's light. Today's Sacred Self-Care Ritual is... Grounding Visualization. So we have two different types of grounding visualizations that we can do that I'm going to talk about. The first one, the first practice is to stand in mountain pose. So if you're a yogi or have done yoga before or just a standing human, (laughs) you've done mountain pose. So mountain pose is where you stand tall, hips width distance apart. And if you don't know if your hips width distance apart, put your fists together. I can't put my other fist because I'm holding (laughs) holding my phone. But you put your fists together and then lean down and put it in between your toes. So hips width distance apart and your palms facing out. Have your palms facing out next to you, to your sides. Standing nice and tall and your feet. So what you want to do with your feet is you close your eyes, take a nice big deep breath in, straighten your spine, shoulders back, and you ground into the four corners of your feet, the fronts of your feet by your toes, the backs of your feet into your heel, the side of your feet into the mid body, the other side into the outside of the body. Feel into the four corners. How does it feel? to move more forward? How does it feel to move back? How does it feel to move inwards? How does it feel to move outwards? And then equally distributing. Standing in that beautiful mountain pose, barefoot on the earth. Standing on the earth helps us to ground. Or if you can't, if it's, you know, wet outside, you don't want to be outside or it's cold or whatever, even though you can, honestly, during any of the the weather, any weather, any, you know, precipitation happening, you can still go outside. It's not going to kill you, but I get it. I get it. So if you just are going to be inside doing it, that's fine too. Just make sure you're barefoot. So you're barefoot, you're grounding in, you're really feeling your body supported, safe, feeling secure in your body feeling strong in that grounding visualization. The second practice is you can sit or even lie down for this one. Um, I like to sit cross-legged for this one um, with without my ankles touching though. So cross-legged with your ankles not touching each other. Um, So your ankles are more layered (laughs) so your legs are layered instead of like getting tucked in like a normal like crisscross applesauce (laughs) so feeling it and you'll feel the difference in your ankles in your legs as you're doing it like mess around with it and I if you want me to I can make another video describing this further but for times per for our time purpose here I'm just going to describe it verbally Okay, so you're sitting cross-legged, again with the shoulders back, spine straight, chin up slightly, deep breaths, really feeling into your sits bones, into your sacrum, and from the sacrum down into the earth, whether you're sitting or lying down, but like I said, I kind of like to sit for this one, feeling like there are roots imagining even just visualizing in your mind roots growing from your sacrum from your sits bones from your butt even down into the earth like these roots are going through the floor whether you're doing this outside or inside through the floor through the ground into the dirt and rooting down slowly getting bigger and bigger and bigger getting thicker and thicker and thicker grounding into mama earth really feeling that connection to her and then imagining your roots 
pulsating and drinking up water that is soaking down into the earth, soaking up the minerals of the soil, soaking up the life force and like bringing it up into the body and through the body, feeding you, supporting you during your visualization. Really grounding into that. And then slowly sucking those roots back up, up through the earth, up through the ground, up through your glutes and your sacrum back into your body. And that is a beautiful grounding visualization. Both of them are very good grounding visualizations. There are other ways to ground too. And working with the root chakra which is the color red, and it's all about grounding. It's all about rooting. It's all about our, our safety, our ability to ground and secure our um, innate instincts, our ancestry, our just connection to Mama Earth, that beautiful root chakra energy. So working with the root chakra, visualizing that red energy center at the base of the spine, down the legs and into the feet. So using these different visualizations for grounding can be really helpful. So thank you so much for joining me again on our sacred self-care rituals and I'll see you next time. Sending love and grounding energy.